This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. Featuring author, psychologist, and daily contributor, Siobhan Scott. The suitcase murderer, Sarah Boone uh, is her name. She's the woman who put her boyfriend in a suitcase after drinking when they're playing hide and seek. That's the story. And then she says she fell asleep and he died in that suitcase. She discovered it the next morning claiming, oh my God, I can't believe this happened. We'll take a look at some of the interrogation video in just a moment. Joining me to discuss Siobhan Scott, psychotherapist and author, but there's more to this story than just, oh my God, this is a horrible accident. She's now gone through about eight different public defenders trying to get to the start date of this trial. Those public defenders quitting one after one after one saying this person is nearly impossible to work with. Give me your reactions on on this case from what we know thus far. Wow. You know, first time death by suitcase, hide and seek. What I a weird, know. Normally it's like the storage of the case. body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After the fact. Um, struck me as incredibly weird. I've read some of her letters that have been posted online, um, watched some of her interviews, and she really is an odd duck. This is not a typical criminal um, by any means. And her inability to work with attorneys, with any attorneys, it does make me wonder, is she competent? Because yeah. that's one of the things you look for in competency. Can they understand the charges and work collaboratively with their attorney and their defense? And this lady is a piece of work. Um, you know, we can speculate about all what may be wrong with her, mm -hmm. but but it's a very unusual case. There's clearly something that's, that's not right. Uh, yeah going on uh, up there. I mean, this right here, th because because she's fired so many attorneys, the last time that she was in court, the judge said, you're going to represent yourself because we can't keep giving you public defenders. Now, that's up for debate if that can really happen. Everyone is entitled to an attorney, but it appears her strategy simply has been keep going through attorneys uh, indefinitely um, and never get to court. This is uh, this is literally a handwritten letter or, or it looks like a, a poster for like a circus or something uh, talking <laughs> about inmate seeks attorney looking for a prosperous challenge ready for your close up on national television. Are you zealous with a side of keen show the world who you are uh, and then goes through a list of what she's looking for. An attorney and an epic opportunity awaits with stars and then Sarah Boone and her inmate number. And I mean, it's just it's nutty. Uh, it's this, really nutty. But to think that this is this is how you get an attorney. She's had many that I'm sure were competent. Um, what the hell is going on here? And then, let's speculate for a moment. Uh, personality disorder or uh, yeah. mental yeah. illness? <laughs> where would the, where would the, the wheel land for you? You know, she's intelligent, articulate, um, overall cogent, but she's got this aggressive bully kind of personality. And and in listening to the audio of her, um, the way when the boyfriend was trying to get out of the suitcase and she was basically mocking him and laughing at him. I mean, she's sadistic. Yeah. So you've got this. Um, of course, we always go back to the good old in the narcissism. You certainly got that. But you've also got what looks to me like this paranoid quality. And I can't diagnose, of course, haven't yeah. met her. But it's striking how she's interpreting everyone as doing something to her. Mm -hmm. And she's really angry about it. Yeah. And that is a, a very more rare kind of odd personality type. And you can have that along with layers of other things. Yeah. So that's one of of my guesses about her. That's what strikes her as being so odd. Here's that video, and I'm going to caution. This is a pretty disturbing. Yeah. Uh, this is the boyfriend uh, in the suitcase being taunted uh, by Sarah Boone before his passing. For everything you've done to me. Sarah. For everything you've done to me. Sarah. F*** you. Sarah. F*** you. Sarah. Stupid. Sarah. That's my name. Don't wear it up. Sarah. I can't believe you, babe. Seriously. Yeah, that's when you do when you choke me. Sarah. 
mean, is this someone who is just completely oblivious to consequences to her actions? And then finally she, she took an action that had serious consequences. And, and her ability to apparently see that this is justified in some way and to sit there that calm. I, I mean, it's, it's beyond weird and y you could, um, understand or wrap your head around it perhaps a little bit if she was floridly psychotic mm -hmm. she's not psychotic she's no. being strategic she knows exactly what she's doing and she's enjoying the process and that's the the sadistic element here is wow this is a person who really perceives that this kind of behavior was justified and that that is the scary thing with, with yeah. when you have the narcissistic type personalities you know rather than than deal with things like a healthy person you know, they go to extreme levels of, of, of rage sometimes and arrogant, and it ends up with them getting caught, but they believe what they did that they're getting caught for is justified. So that cause yeah. and effect doesn't have the effect. And, right. and that's how the, these people can continue to go on until they do something really horrible and stupid like this. Let's take a look at the uh, police interrogation video uh, with Sarah, and uh, we'll talk on the other side and get your thoughts on, on how she was handling that. And you also, in the video, you can't see any holes. There's nowhere in that where the zipper separates and you can see a hole. If there's a hole, he's pushing on it, begging you to get out. We should probably see that, that, that hole. That he essentially would have been able to get out. Huh. Alcohol. Based off what you're telling us, he should have yeah. been able to get out. Okay. But the video shows him attempting to get out, begging to get out, and he can't. So that's, that's just what we're trying to figure out. I don't know if maybe you had too much to drink, you zipped it up all the way, and then, you know... I did not zip it up all the way. Okay, well... I did not zip it up all the way. This is horrific, okay? Horrific. It is terrible. Yeah, so horrific. Cool. I don't think I'll ever be right because of this. Ever be right. I didn't mean to leave him there! That's what I'm trying to tell you. You got up and walked away. How is that not intentionally leaving him there? Because I'm looking at the hole knowing that it's a, it's there. He'll get out no harm. Because you don't. And then he doesn't. But the, you don't go check on him. You say you're up for 30 minutes and he doesn't come up. You don't go down and check on him? I'm in the bed. You even move. And so I mean, off. You move. You admit to moving the suitcase, yep. like, over. So you roll it. You roll it up like it's not like I didn't want him to be me like that. Don't you didn't want him to be upside down? How do you even get upside down? Right. You guys are killing me right now. I promise you, on my son's life, it was not intentional. I promise you, on Lucas's life, it was not intentional. <laughs> I don't know you. I can't say I know anything about you. I don't know what is what would be a true statement or what not. I mean, if you're promising on your son's life, that's fine. That's how much it means. Sorry. That's how much it look, That's how much it means. Okay. Yeah, words and statements like that don't matter to narcissists. They can promise on anything. It's just words mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. um, but her rage when confronted mm -hmm. with reality narcissistic wound right there yeah really yeah. loud really I did not, blah, 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 blah. like hey we're just having a conversation here but confronted mm -hmm. with that can't even handle reality or or, or any sort of uh, acceptance that yeah maybe you didn't intend to do that but you did yeah it's um the vehemence that if i just say this loud enough and i'm just demanding that you believe my nonsense story that i'm going to keep repeating this and i'm going to get angry at you until you go my way this is a person who's used to bullying people mm -hmm. and maybe it's worked for her in yeah. other settings in life it probably has because she's so intimidating and so angry but it it again yeah you're right personality disorder with the paranoia going on always people doing things to her how dare they and people with the narcissism and the paranoia throw in some sadism and you've got a really dangerous person i'm really hoping she does represent herself because i think that's going to be must see tv I mean, as horrible as that is, I mean, that's like, I mean, it, it's really not a good thing because it, we're, you're essentially, we're, we're 
watching a circus of someone with a, men with a mental health problem. Uh, but um, if she does, I'm going to say it's going to be interesting. <laughs> it, it would be interesting and should be used in, in training therapists in grad school, you know, to, yes. to watch that kind of thing in action. I agree. Want more of the podcast without the ads? Then hit subscribe to the True Crime Today Premium Plus channel on Apple Podcasts. Try it now for three days absolutely free. You'll get access to all of our extended advance ad-free episodes instantly. So you can binge without the break. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Search and subscribe now on Apple Podcasts.